Jay Grazio is Shooting Illustrated, and we're here in the NRA's public range with Scott Jelinski from the Modern Samurai Project. Scott's here today with us because he's going to give us a special one-day course on using a pistol with a red dot sight. Scott, thank you so much for coming by. Love to have you here. Can you walk us through some of the good things about red dots and some of the things you should look out for? Sure. Uh, and by the way, thank you for inviting me out. This is going to be a great time today. Uh, so some of the things you want to watch out about the red dot, right? One of the things I say about at least with iron sights in comparison is the one advantage that iron sights have is that they're always in your peripheral. Because of that, they kind of make you lazy and most people's presentations look like this, right? You can't get away with that with a red dot because it's such a precise uh, sighting tool. So what I tell people is try and take all of that useless frenetic motion that you have because you want to look very cool and tactical uh, and get rid of that, okay? And then you present the uh, red dot pistol just like you would present a rifle with very minimal movement and look at where you're shooting. I know that seems a little silly, but the, the great thing about the red dot, it goes where you're looking. The bad thing about the red dot, it goes where you're looking. So uh, with those things in mind, if you do less, you will get more with the dot. It makes a lot of sense. We're gonna, you're gonna run us through some of the very basics of running a pistol with a red dot. You, you were talking about some of the body mechanics for your presentation. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what do we do differently with a red dot rather than with iron sights when it comes to your presentation? Yeah, so it all comes down to this, right? The body works the way the body works, right? Uh, I always say that the laws of physics and kinesiology do not change across any sport or physical activity. But for some reason, when we put a gun in our hand, we gotta change all that stuff and stand weird and do weird stuff. Uh, what I say is I bring it back to more of an athletic type of activity, right? Things with grip, stance, uh, arm extension, things of that nature. Uh, we go over that. So again, so that I uh, illustrate that structure is more important than strength. All right, we're going to take some of this information. We're going to go on the range, put it to use. For more information, see Scott's website, modernsamuraiproject.com. And as always, shootingillustrated.com.